spring of 2017, I flew down to Managua, Nicaragua. Getting off the airplane, we got in a bus to head three hours to Chinandega. The girls that went on the mission trip to Nicaragua stayed at an old priest home. Every day, we went to the school that was near the place that we were staying. While we were at the school, we took off the blue soundproofing that was on the walls of the music room. It was not easy work. After we were done taking all the blue soundproofing off the walls, we started to paint. When the kids were outside for recess, the missionaries would go play with them. A lot of the time they would like to play Red Rover, soccer, or baseball. In the end, we ended up making a mural for the school. While the girls were at the school, the boys were making the wing for the girls' orphanage. Throughout the week, we had a mass every single day. One of the times was at the girls' orphanage. At the girls' orphanage, the girls were so excited to see us. They started picking his buddies who. The woman's prison touched me a lot. A lot of the women in there were just protecting their kids from their husbands. We also had mass with the prisoners. They were very delighted. Every year, when the missionaries go down to Nicaragua, they hold a carnival for the kids that live in the dump. At the carnival, we give the kids hours of fun. Then we have the kids line up in a line and they get a chance to hit the pinata and get the candy. After the kids were done getting their candy, they got in line to get their food. After getting their food, they got to pick two items out of the pile of clothes. The hospitals in Nicaragua are nothing like the U.S. There's eight women in one room. One of the missionaries got to hold a two-hour-old baby. We handed out shoes, clothes, and luggages. At the beach community, there was many things that I've never seen before.
Some of the missionaries that came before us made a soup kitchen for the dump. This is where we fed the kids and had the kids wash up with little wipies. I was very sad how the kids lived at the dump. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But at the end of the day, when they left the soup kitchen, they had the biggest smile on their face. Seeing the missionaries here was having food that wasn't from the dump. Leaving Nicaragua made me realize that I have an amazing life and I need to pray for those people that need more.